Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to some more Dragon Blaze. Um, we're going to be taking a look at the new patch that is coming. Um, well, the first one's just bug fixes. Challenger Dungeon is expanding. Um, I recently have gotten to floor 40 and can do that one pretty decently. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm going to aim higher yet because... I mean, in that one, I get a pretty decent amount of deaths in, but versus my win and success, I do have a lot more success than the losses. Um, if I was to work on Kronos, then I could actually do that pretty easy, but there's still a chance I'm still going to die. So yeah, working on that at the moment, and the let's just say it's not working out very very well I mean even in the lower ones I would still have a chance of getting a death but yeah still does not feel good <laughs> okay friendship points are changing we're gonna get five instead of one so pretty much when you um, well let's just pretty much show it so pretty much when you where was friendless? I haven't used it in so well. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Took me a while. Oh yeah, my invite list is probably long as hell. Yeah, I I wish I could accept all you guys, but I can't. My list is too small. But yeah, pretty much when you send and receive, you would technically only get one from all this. But now we're going to be getting a lot more, and it's going to be more worth it to actually use this. So, yeah, that's going to be nice. And that's for people who are new to the game and don't really know about that button. And now you guys do. Alright, what else is in here? Oh yeah, I've already put this inside of a title. Um, Heal Adventure is getting... Uh, rebalance or adjusted to match users party level I don't understand that I I'm pretty sure it just means you won't be able to kill it as fast or something like that I'm not sure but if anybody understands that do let me know uh, I personally just think it's just gonna be rebalanced like it's always been you know, just pretty much increase the HP and attack and everything. Um, if it's just adjusting to a certain point of our party level, I'm not sure about that. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. Alright, the second week of the summer event is coming. So you guys can say goodbye to the roulette wheel, I'm sure. Yeah. Say goodbye to the roulette wheel. It's going to go away. I figured as much. They always have the ending events down here. This is gone, this is gone, and this is gone. Oh, I haven't even done the Nightmare difficulty. I forgot all about that. But this one's going to be on collecting allies. I don't think I like that, to be honest. But it does give a lot of transcendence. Which I do like. Well, I guess we'll just read it off from one. Gets. Oh, I am covering things. Okay. Get summer ally S through triple S from various kinds of summons, combining allies during the event period. Oh, is this just basically um special little characters with a uh, little skins? I think there was like Summer Bell Snow, right? At least I think so. Then there was like this little priest who had one too. I'm not sure. But there's also rewards will be given to you if you get S through Triple S Summer during the event period. Uh, these are the rewards. Um. S through triple S surprise summer gifts. Also, they just give the whole three random boxes. 
It's pretty much just like carrying the griffin. You know, the Christmas griffin that we've gotten before. It's pretty much just like that. Except for we don't get the pet, they just send it to us. <laughs> Alright, so this is what the surprise summer gift has. Each allies have 10% of their chance to acquire the available. Oh, okay. So these are all just standard things that we can just get from it. These are all going to be triple S's. So you have another 10% chance to receive one of these characters. You have another 10% chance of receiving one of these characters. Three soul selects will be given out to those who find the S through triple S summer during this whole event and another little added on buff or gift for us on the second summer event and that is we pay less for daily dungeons i definitely like this one this is gonna make me be able to open up a lot more because i normally just open up these three right here open up nothing else I can open up requests if I want to or I can open up gems and the only thing else is these are ending so I can say the summer event is gonna be pretty nice I'm gonna miss the roulette wheel though I'm gonna so miss this ah uh, man I was actually enjoying that that was actually pretty unique and it's gonna be gone. Ah, oh, I already care about that. Get off. <laughs> but it's unfortunate that that has to leave. Oh yeah, if you guys haven't seen, I have Rin. He's Max now. Been working on that pretty much all week. He has decent gear on. Nothing like extremely fancy. Uh, all these jewels you see here I've taken off my archers and just thrown on him okay he has one that I have not bought open hold on where where is it there it is if you're wondering what this is this is this pretty much goes to one of my uh yeah it pretty much goes right here but I'm using um charm Where is a good win? There's one. Oh, well, there's three, actually. Should throw one back on the archer. I mostly use only stars and up. I don't really use the square ones. Or at least I try and avoid using them. I try. Now that I think about it, I'm not gonna even get throw one on them. But if you honestly wanted like way better jewels, I would recommend doing the daily jewels added on. But I would recommend opening like a lot of daily dungeons because that's how you eat way through your uh, rubies. But with this event that's coming by is going to decrease it so it's going to be more worth it i wish this was a permanent price for the daily dungeon but yeah we don't we don't get that luxury <laughs> so my level for my character has gone up to i am well it doesn't show it here what what the hell man so now that i've stopped doing um pretty much the 24th floor every night I started to going up I started like leveling up way faster Hold on. yeah I'm right here now I wonder if I can beat this I think I stopped here because I couldn't yeah I've just been pretty much autoing um, floor 40 
I think I woke up with 121 wins. And... Like, 34 losses. Like, I find that as a plus, to be honest. Because it doesn't really matter if I've lost so, so much, because I'm profiting, like, way more than I've lost. And... Every win that I get, I get a thousand XP added on, and it's not half bad. So, oh, this one was pretty much a clean run. Oops, I jinxed you. I'm sorry, Chrono. <laughs> I definitely jinxed you. You died. See? That's like a huge payoff. Just because I'm actually just getting percentage after percentage. I've woken up and I would have like pretty much huh? Come on. I would pretty much wake up with five in here, five in here, five in here, five in here. Like I would wake up just like with a whole bunch of points I could just throw in. Which is actually nice and shows that I'm progressing. Instead of just sitting all the way down here, which you can see doesn't give me much. And I need to be up here. And is this a freaking boss? What? Is that the boss by itself? Oh, no, it's not. I was about to say that would be pretty nice if it was just a solo boss. Okay, and Kronos used his second skill instead of his first for some reason. Yeah, it seems like a running thing with him. But he doesn't want to protect the team. He's just like, no, I'm too lazy. I'm going to use this instead. Just... There you go, buddy. Welcome back. I can't wait to have another character that deals with reducing cooldown. <laughs> just like Helios. Ah. Uh... There's a slim chance of that happening. Bring him back to life. Oh boy. Aw. You just came out too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bullying you. I think most of my deaths are because Kronos doesn't use his first skill. Or he can't survive for long. So this is probably be a new place where I would start farming now. Just because we did take out the final boss like extremely easy. So yeah. Making progress, okay? <laughs> I've been there for the longest. Well, I've been on 24 for the longest and clearly it's not going to give me a lot of points. I guess I'll just show you guys that. Like and here I'm getting like way less points and I'm not farming at the moment just because my burning points are so low that I wouldn't even get many transessions from this either and I personally don't want to farm without the burning points it would be kind of a waste to be honest at least for me, personally. If you're just looking to level, then yeah, I would recommend to keep going. But I just don't want to waste the points into nothing. And get nearly nothing out of it. And this, I could literally get no deaths in. And boom. See, I wouldn't even go anywhere in my percentage. I would literally be going up by like 1% every time. But when I'm at floor 42, I'm going up like around 10 or 11 or 12% every time. Which shows way more progress. So yeah, that's the difference and pretty much how you want to level inside of the floor. So if you can beat it, continue to do it if you can't beat it the next run 
then well wait i guess try a little bit if you have more of a success rate on the higher place that you just you know click on like let's say for example oh i'm at the final floor what i didn't that's the final what that's the final floor that was easy to get to i hate myself for that <laughs> I didn't know that was it was that easy to get to okay whatever what ifs but let's say I'm gonna do five runs if I die probably three times three or four times out of this I won't be autoing this if I can survive four to three times on this or you know what better yet let's say this if I, you know, farm overnight and I wake up with like a large fail rate. I'm not going to auto that place. I'm going to move on down to the next best one. Then I'm going to farm that place. Then we're going to see how that goes. If I'm even on di if I'm even on losses and even on wins, I'm not going to farm that place because that just tells me that it's like an on and off situation and I'm going to be losing more than, well, probably losing pretty much as much as I'm winning and that's kind of not what I want. But if I have a larger success rate than my losses, then I'm going to farm that place. So let's say if I have like 100 wins versus like 40 or 50 losses, I'm going to farm that place. But if I have like 120 and uh, 100 losses, that's way too much that I'm losing. Like I kind of want to have just like a larger percentage of wins. If you guys understand what I'm saying. I'll make sure to farm that now. That's, that's ridiculous. See, I could have been here leveling up and being with everybody else, but look at it now. <laughs> But yeah, guys. Uh, actually, I want to see how how much lower is Nightmare. Oh, what the hell? That's pretty low. Jeez, I didn't figure it was gonna be that low. Difficulty was dropped dramatically. If I knew that, I would have just been in here. That's annoying. But I'm I'm just gonna tell you the truth. I forgot all about this. I just have not been focusing on it. No, where is my formation? Okay, just double checking to see if you're in the right slot. Okay. I guess it's best now to do it in any other time. Oh, he's using like the old team. For those of you guys who are afraid of Graysoul one-shotting overlords, he can't. Graysoul can't um, insta-kill overlords. Pretty much pretty much it's just like DFIs. Um DFI Grace though, he can't is to kill anybody above Transcended. And Transcended Grace though, can't kill anybody over Well, Overlord and Over. If there is going to be over Overlord, which I'm pretty sure they'll try to figure out a way to do just to make me grind again and stop. Please. No. Just let Overlords be in-game, please. <laughs> That's all I'm hoping. Because I don't need another transforming DFI to Transcendent, then Transcendent to Overlord, then Overlord arcs to whatever the hell you're going to make next. Don't need that. I, I farmed enough. But... 
well let's just say a lot of effects from um, transcendent characters won't work on overlords especially revives if you guys have not realized um, if you have a transcended reviver let's just say this um, if you had a transcended character that revived it wouldn't matter you cannot revive overlords with a transcended character Here, let's use let's use transcended black for example she would not be able to res any overlords you would have to have chin chin is the only overlord that can revive at the moment so yeah pretty useless to even try and bring black when you're having like a nearly a full team of overlords i mean the only thing that would be affecting them is is the attack and attack speed buff Wait, was that the last war too? I think it was. Yeah, pretty standard rewards. Oh no, I had two more. Nah, don't really care about those. Alright, so that's all I'm going to show you guys. Uh, Nightmare Place is still pretty difficult, but I've definitely gotten a lot farther than what I used to, but eh, there's nothing to marvel at. But yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.